Welcome to the World Tarot. This morning when I woke up, I had a vision in my third eye of these two cards together. This is the Troll, number 31. And this is the Mace, number 34. And as I was seeing these two cards in my third eye, I remembered something I know about trolls from Romanian folklore. Usually a troll would carry a mace, not an axe like this one does, and he would throw the mace wherever he wants to go. Before actually going to that particular place, he would throw his mace as in to um, mark his territory so that no nobody else goes there. So this is somebody who wants to effectively mark their territory. This could be a man who's interested in a particular woman and this woman could live at a distance from him or there's a, there's a separation, there's an emotional distance or this man could be very busy doing something else and he does not really have time for a settled relationship but that's what he wants. He is planning to move in or to move near a particular woman he's interested in. Now he wants to make sure that you're not gonna move on, that you're not gonna move away or move on with another man. So he's gonna try to do something to make sure that you wait for him. So there could be some incoming communication from a particular man who wants to be with you but he cannot be with you straight away so you would have to wait for him for a while. I'm not sure how long, we're gonna find out. This could also be a special message for somebody who works in real estate or somebody who's a property manager. This man might ask you to look for accommodation for him in your area or maybe even in your building if that is the case. This could be somebody you already know from the past who might come towards you and say, oh, I heard you work in this field. Can you help me with something? So he might reach out to you to ask for your services in some kind of way, even if you're not in real estate. But especially if you're working in real estate in any kind of way. So he's going to reach out for some kind of business here, possibly. But it's a way to get closer to you again or to get closer to you if this is a new person. Right, so um, let's find out who resonates with this reading. Who is this message for? Who is this message for from the guy? The Temple of Fire could be for a fire sign, could be for an Aries specifically. Yeah, this person could be watching you. This person knows where you live, so they could be watching your home. This guy could be a fire sign or an earth sign too. But... Um, you already have a home. Maybe he likes your home. Maybe you have a nice home. And again, we're talking about real estate. So this is somebody who has been watching your home or who knows where you live. And that's why they're going to reach out to you and tell you that they are looking for accommodation in that area. They might say that they have a job there and that's why they have to relocate. They're going to find some kind of excuse. So like I said, you might be a fire sign. What What is this person? Let's see, who is this person who's been watching your home or watching you? The Naughty Bridge and the Empress Bee. It's somebody who lives far away. That's what I'm getting with the Naughty Bridge. They could be five cities away, five states away, five countries away. They could be far away from you. And that's why they're throwing their little mace uh, to your land because they want to move there. They want to be with you. Uh, with the Empress B here, this person could actually be married or they see you as marriage material and that's why they want to come towards you. Numbers 32, 26 and 2 could be significant for this person, could be the age, could be the birthday, birth month, etc. So this person, like I said, they want to settle down. This could be when I think of a troll, I think of somebody who roams a lot, who travels a lot. Like I said, they're also far away from you. But now they want to settle down. They want to be a domestic. So there you go. Also, this person might have very fond feelings about you. This could be unconditional love because the Empress Bee is a mother figure usually. So this person could have unconditional love for you. 
I was also hearing this song that I heard a couple of months ago. This morning I also started hearing a song by Billy Joel called For the Longest Time. So what I'm getting is that this is somebody who had been disillusioned in love before, but they really want to take a chance on you. And uh, they want this to last for a long time, the relationship. They want this to be the longest relationship they've had. So they possibly want to be with you forever and ever. Anyway, happily ever after with the troll. <laughs> Anyway, this is not necessarily a troll, but this person could have been watching you because also my stalker card came out. So this person's either watching your home, watching your business. Um, yeah, this person knows something about where you work, where you live, etc. So like I said, this could be somebody from your past wants to return and they're using the fact that you work in a particular field now to request services from you. Or this is somebody brand new, but they're watching you and they have a crush on you so this could be somebody you met online if that is the case if it's a new person right so this could be an earth sign or an air sign that's what i'm getting for this person and you could be a fire sign let's get one more card to describe you who is this message for who's this message for about this man who's the message for about this man okay it's definitely a fire sign you could be an aries or a sagittarius lots of fire here so you might have a lot of fire in your chart it's not just your sun sign you could be on fire you could be very excited about something you could be somebody who's very creative too. Another thing here, you might have children already because uh, with the house and this looks like kind of like a child, doesn't it? So you might have a child or children, but not necessarily, that's not necessarily the case. You could also be, like I said, you could be working in, the, in a very creative industry or you are into real estate. You could even be a designer or an architect or something like that. This person might say that they want to build a house too. Either that they want to rent or buy or even build their own house. So you could be creating buildings. You could be an architect, like I said, and you could be a fire sign. I'm, I'm also getting the message that for somebody, this might not necessarily be romantic. This person might genuinely want you to buy them, uh, not buy them. <laughs> buy them maybe because i said it <laughs> this person might want you um to find accommodation or build something for them so this could be business too it's not necessarily romantic although with the this empress b here i'm getting that this person has a uh, cozy warm feelings for you but they could also be getting married so yeah this could be a career reading too it might not necessarily be about love but it could also be that so there you go. If you're in real estate, architecture, development, uh, this could be a message for you. What else could this be? You could also be a spiritualist with all the fire here. So this person might ask you if it's okay or if it's a good area. They might ask you to do a reading on the place where they want to move. Ghostbusters. <laughs> I think I just heard Ghostbusters in my mind. So this person might, if you're a psychic especially, they might want you to travel to a particular site or a particular home and check for bad spirits to make sure that the home is clean, so to speak, spiritually clean. That's another thing I'm getting now. So yeah, this could resonate for lots of people here. Uh-oh, on the floor. Tower moment, Scorpio energy. Scorpio, the tower is about the collapsing building, so they might want you to check if the building is stable enough too, if it's going to collapse or not. So it could be an engineer too, so there you go. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. Let's talk more about this person. Who's this person who, who wants to... Um, 
wants to work with you because it could be for somebody could be just about work to be honest ho oh, oh 18 18 is Pisces it makes me think of the moon this could be a secret a, a client who wants to be a secret who wants you to be very secretive yeah this could be um, somebody who's very abundant very uh, influential affluent whatever you want to call it yeah this person wants you to keep some kind of secret here so if you're an architect and you have a website where you advertise your work this person might not want you to advertise this work on your website for example or whatever or on um, anywhere they want you to be to keep it a uh, hush hush completely if they work with you this person could be very flamboyant with the phoenix here very many colors so they might want a very colorful home or they want you to um source some kind of artwork for them so i'm I, you know what i'm getting a vision of a very minimalistic looking building but with lots of colorful artwork so the walls are completely white everything's very uh simple but the artwork is like uh, the pièce de résistance and stuff okay so <laughs> there you go so this person might like minimalism but with a twist you know like something um eclectic style okay they like an eclectic style this person might be into art this person you know i'm getting somebody somebody very flamboyant themselves okay so there you go again with sagittarius you could be a sagittarius actually earth and sagittarius Yeah, and again, look, she, she has the bow and arrow, so she's showing you the direction, or he is showing you the direction where they want to build this house, or where they want to relocate. So you might get the message, that's what I'm getting. You're gonna get the message very soon from this person, asking you either to find accommodation or to build something for them. All this stuff flipped over, but I'm not taking it though. I don't even know when they flipped over so <laughs> this one keeps coming up on the bottom of the deck so wherever this person could live in a colder climate and you live in a hotter climate that's another thing and they want to relocate to where you are because it's nicer there this could be somebody from northern Europe or from Canada yeah so you could live in a hot place they live in a cold place or it's the other way around So yeah, there you go, it's gonna happen soon. So uh, how should you take this message here? You should definitely take the, the job, I suppose, but um, whether this person's interested in you or not, Quetzalcoatl 22, you might be in South America. This person could be in, in the North, you could be in the Southern Hemisphere, and they wanna relocate to the Southern Hemisphere. The magic whistle number 11 so there's gonna be a call this person's gonna call you possibly either a message but more like a call that's what I'm getting they might call you on the phone but look the snake flipped over so they, they have an ulterior motive for why they're calling you so they're calling you for some kind of work but they actually are interested in you though that's what I think is this person interested in you romantically let's just clarify is this person really interested in you romantically? The sea lion. Again, the sea lion comes out. <laughs> I should have taken it out, but I'm still keeping it. Uh, Inuit, number four. So we've got Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Earth, 23. The magic wolf, 22 and 5, Cosmin. Free, the mother of the woods, 43, Zyana, the fairy, and 18, Stone Fist. So the number 18 is coming out again. The number 18 could be significant for this man. Or, yeah, I think it's a man. This man could have a family with somebody. This man could even have a mistress. So he could have, he could be dealing with multiple women. 
and he might want to be with you too to be honest he might want to add you to their harem possibly not necessarily though maybe they're willing to end a relationship or they're about to end a relationship with somebody else and relocate the star the star talks about healing also moving north so either somebody is in the north and they want to go to the south or somebody's in the south they want to go to the north so they're moving from a very to a, from extreme places like from very hot to very cold or from very cold to very hot possibly yes it's true prince charming wants to move so this prince charming might leave some uh, people behind here to be with you because they want to be with you they want to move to an island or, or from an island okay so that's what's happening here you might get communication very soon that's what i'm getting so when's the communication happening the empress of the fairies the empress is libra and taurus it's a long time until libra and taurus season though the wise old lady 12 and Sirius from the sky 13 could be in the next air sign season possibly and that would be in uh, january in aquarius season possibly because i'm getting lots of uh, wings here so i'm thinking air or pisces season so maybe when Aquarius goes into Pisces, possibly. Look, the castle in the north, the Empress of the Fairies again. These are Libra energies, though. Libra is next year, so... <laughs> maybe that's when they want to move in. They want to move in by Libra season next year with the castle in the north. Again with the north. I think this person wants to move north. Even if it's colder where you are. Now I'm hearing Nikita by Elton John. <laughs> Maybe this person lives in a hot climate and they want to move to a colder climate. It depends on where you are. If you're in a cold climate, he's moving from a hot climate. If you're in a warm climate, he's... Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so there you go. So they might tell you they want um, you to find a home or to build a home before Libra season next year. Or that's when they plan to move. So they have a one-year plan here. The youngest son, 35. Is this guy in a relationship with somebody else right now? I just want to know. Is this guy in a relationship with somebody else right now? The devil. He's connected to somebody, yeah, with the devil. This is a yes. He is. Could be a water sign. He could be with a water sign, an air sign, or a Capricorn. The magic bag. And their finances are, are connected. So this man might tell you that he wants you to find a house or build a house for him and his wife. But he's actually thinking of leaving the wife possibly. Yes, exactly. So that's what he's going to say to him, to you and to the wife. That he wants you to find a house for him and the wife. Or to build a house for him and the wife. But actually he wants to leave the wife and move into that house with you. Isn't it? <laughs> is that it <laughs> this is the healer 16 the tower 16 is the tower so yeah there's gonna be a breakup he's possibly planning on breaking up with this person at some point and heal the relationship with you this could be somebody from your past who wants to come back is this a past person is this a past person the magic bag in reverse it's somebody who wants to reach out to you and who wants to drop the baggage and reach out to you so i don't know if it's from the past but they're with somebody else and they want to drop the person because they see the person as baggage as a karmic and they want to come to you they want to reach out to you enemy number one <laughs> the soul fairy godmother 21 26 diana the fairy and the temple of earth yeah so there he's dealing with two women with you and this other person possibly
but that's the plan. He's planning to leave this person and come to you. He wants to end the relationship. Because he could feel very attracted to you. This could be a gang stalker. What's the beast with seven heads? The beast with seven heads could be an organization. He could be a part of some kind of powerful organization. Or I don't know what's with the beast with seven heads. The gargoyle. Yeah, this is an organization. An old organization or an old mindset. This person has some kind of position of authority. What does this person do? What does this person do? They stalk people. Oh my god, this could be a secret service agent or something. Or they're in a secret society. Yeah, if their business, if their job is to stalk people, I think he's a secret service agent or something. Is that what this guy is? The Empress B, he's an authority figure. He could also be somebody who um, is in communications, a networker, somebody who travels a lot. The Lake of Fairies. This could be a cult leader or something. Or he could be the leader of a group here. He could be a CEO of some sort. He could be an owner of a communications company possibly. Or this could even be medicine or something else. With the, the Lake of Fairies, it makes me think of either art or medicine. Could be a spiritualist. So yet another cult leader, boss, or wannabe cult leader. It's saying, no, no, they're not the cult leader. Don't piss me off. But this person might have anger issues, though. Yeah, so let's see. The Empress High Priestess, though makes me think of a cult leader again or somebody who's very spiritual yeah they want to lure you they're whatever they are they have a lot of authority they could be a yeah a ceo or something a director of a company whatever they are they do many things they're a shapeshifter right because the werewolf here changes right this is also a shapeshifter, both of these. So this person does a lot of things. They could dabble in a lot of things. They could have multiple businesses, possibly. Yeah, they have multiple businesses. This person is a master of something. They're a master of their company, basically. I think they're, they're a company owner. They have multiple companies. All this stuff came out. The moon twice. Look at the moon twice. It started with the moon and it ends with the moon. Leah, the prince of fire, stone fist, and the moon again. So you're going to have to be very secretive about this. If you work with this person, you're going to have to keep everything very hush-hush. Because this person dabbles in a lot of different things. He might even be in the military or secret services or something like that. So... Uh, Yeah, it's uh, all about keeping secrets, the sun. This is take <sighs> Again, they're very authoritative. Very powerful, man. Okay, so what else? The snake. So either this man is a snake or he's dealing with a lot of snakes. Or he's gonna be sneaky. Or he needs you to be sneaky, again. He needs you to be secretive. So there you go. Discreet, I mean. The siren. He wants to offer you. He wants to lure you. With something though. With his power. But then we've got this revenge card. So if this is a past person. They might even want to take revenge on you. They want to lure you towards them. So that they can have uh, some kind of revenge. Oh my god. Not the revenge again. I keep picking up this energy of people wanting to take revenge for something. So let's find out what exactly is the real purpose here that this man has with you. What does this man really want from you? What does this man really want from you? 
about this? The sun. Maybe they want the sun. The wise old lady. They might want your advice on something. This is like King of Swords. It's an old woman and an old man. Maybe they just want to grow old together with you. I don't know. Let's see. The magic whistle. Quetzalcoatl, 11.22. So 12.24, 11.22. Oh my God, 12 is half of 24. 11 is half of 22. That's crazy. How they came out like that. So they might want to share something equally with you. That's what I'm getting from this. And they might want to be with you. They might want to marry you. They want to be in union with you. Until death do you part. So this person does have good intentions. But they're being sneaky to whoever they are with right now. Because they're in a relationship with somebody else. That's what we clarified in the previous spread. So this person is going to be sneaky to that person. And leave that person to be with you possibly. Is that it? Is that all? Does this person have genuine intentions here? Does this person have genuine intentions towards you? Is this really what they want? Is this really what they want? The sun. Yeah, I think it is. Almirage 29 in reverse. Yes, it is. The sun and the mace again. He's throwing the mace to you. There you go. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Okay, so he doesn't just want to sleep with you. He actually wants to have a relationship with you. There we go. But he, he has to get out of some kind of karmic relationship first, possibly. But again, look, the revenge thing. What's with the revenge? What's with the whole egg? What does he want to take revenge on? The youngest son. He wants to take revenge on the youngest son. Could be his brother or the son and the youngest son. So he's the son and this is the youngest son. So he wants to re take revenge on his own brother. Or he's the one, the youngest son is the one who's taking revenge. Oh my God, who's the youngest son? This could literally be his youngest brother or something. Or it could be another man who's interested in you possibly. Who the hell is the youngest son, please? Who's the youngest son? Eileen Rip from the Sun. The youngest son is Eileen Rip from the Sun, and he's the son. His own son. He wants to take revenge on his own son. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, look, the son. The youngest son, Eileen Rip from the Sun. So this could be his youngest son or daughter. Or the youngest son and daughter. Or what the hell is. <laughs> So there's a guy who wants to be with you forever after, but there's another guy that he wants to take revenge on. I'm not sure how they're related though. But uh, yes, uh, apparently that's what's happening here. The Empress B30. The Empress of the Fairies. Okay, he wants to marry you. So this guy wants to be with you forever after. He wants to marry you. And then there's another guy. The other guy could be targeting you. The other guy could be a, a love rival, possibly. And he wants to take revenge on this love rival. If this love rival has ever been cruel to you or done something to you, he might want to take revenge for that, possibly. But it's uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here. But yeah. This could be a, a rivalry between two men who are interested in the same woman. Okay, it's been clarified. It's been revealed. The moon is in reverse. So yeah, that's what it is. So this is a man who really wants to be with you and he also wants to take revenge on somebody who hurt you possibly. You might kind of look like one of these blonde characters possibly. Not necessarily though. Or you like to wear wigs. Leah, yeah, I said you might like to wear wigs. Maybe your hair is black, but you wear blonde wigs or you dye your hair blonde or something like that.
They want to take you under their wing. Okay, look at this. I think this is like two men. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he wants to take revenge on somebody who hurt you. That's what I'm getting. Tower moment. Zaratan. Okay, let's see, because uh, something went on the floor. There's some story here that I'm being told. So it came out like this. This was on the side, on the floor like this. Let's see what it is. Uh, yeah, look. These two, I just showed you these two characters and I did like this. So these could be the two characters who are fighting each other somehow. So the, the Pegasus was on the side as in uh, fleeing the scene basically. So there's a fight here. I don't know if this is a physical fight or it's a spiritual fight, but there's a fight here between two men. And one man's in love with you and he's trying to protect you possibly. And again, you could be this blonde character or you wear blonde wigs or you have your hair dyed blonde or what, whatever. So this man wants to protect you from somebody who hurt you. He might want to spiritually protect you or physically protect you. And he's fighting this other man either... He wants to fight him physically or spiritually. Tudor, the mother of the woods, Prince Charming, and the magic wolf. So we've got one woman, two men. So literally, this could be it. You have two men who are fighting for you or over you. This one's two, this one's 22. That's interesting. So one of these men has more power, more authority than the other one. And it could be that this one with more power and authority wants to use that power and authority to take revenge on this man who hurt you in the past, possibly. This is interesting. This, this keeps coming out. This is cancer energy. This is also depression or rejection. The castle in the north, 25. Diana the fairy, 26. The star, 42. And... The Empress B26 and 2, this came out again. So this person wants to heal you possibly. He wants to take care of you. So this could be somebody who's coming in to help heal you. Um, from some kind of past hurt possibly. The Siren. And then there's the siren. I think the siren is the other guy. I'm not sure. What is this? There's two men here. So which is the one you can trust though? Let's clarify. You know what? I'm going to get the simple cards or something. Because I want to clarify because there are two men coming towards a woman. Not just one, but two. And one of them is the good guy. One of them is the bad guy apparently. So you need to discern which one is the right one for you and which one is just, um, yeah, whatever. So who's, let's do a versus. Who's the guy you're supposed to avoid? The phoenix wanted to come out. Could be a fire sign. Who's the guy you're supposed to avoid? Who's the guy you're supposed to avoid? Oh yeah, see the same character again. He might even look like this, or he could be very muscular, could be older, could be bald, could have a beard. The number 18 could be significant. He could be an earth sign, possibly. We also have Sharnabon, the wizard, and the wise old lady. So this guy could be some kind of spiritualist. And uh, he could be in a relationship with somebody else, or um, his mother taught him to be a wizard, possibly. <laughs> He works with the ancestors. I think he works with the dead or something like that. He might know a lot about um, ancient writing, spell work, ancient spells. This is this is somebody who is into spirituality with, with all these cards like this. This could be somebody doing spell work on you. Who is this to you? The spark. Somebody who annoys you, possibly. <laughs> Could be somebody you've known since childhood, because again, this kind of looks like a child, but not necessarily. Days is the healer, 16. This person, they might have an, a personality disorder with these two cards coming out. They have some kind of uh, issues. Uh, King of Swords reversed, wow. 
wow, this man has some kind of personality disorder. This is somebody who hurt you a lot in the past. Yeah. This is not somebody you, sh you should reconcile with. So if I'm calling out signs, I'm mainly seeing air and earth for this man. But also fire and air. My mind just stopped. This person might try to get you to forget stuff that happened between the two of you so that you can start over again. He wants you to have a blank slate, but literally he wants you to forget how he treated you in the past. He might not even want to address the past. He just wants to move forward and he's trying to get you to forget. That's what I'm getting. He's trying to get you to forget how cruel he was to you in the past so that you can take him back. So that's why he's dangerous. Because I don't think this person has actually changed. Has this person actually changed for the better? And this says yes with the Temple of Water. So I suppose that's a yes. Now they're a master over themselves. They could have mastered their own behavior. They're no longer like this. But they could be depressed. This person could be depressed right now or they're sad without you but look look at this oh this is the other guy trying to take revenge so yeah the other guy right because we I showed these guys before like this the devil the whole egg, the Pegasus this could be these both of these men could practice magic to be honest this one's even darker. <laughs> Death and the devil and the hodag and revenge. So this, oh my god. <laughs> Both of these people do some kind of black magic to be honest or some kind of spell work. You've got two wizards on your hand. Are these both of these men wizards really? Are both of these men wizards? The magic whistle and the temple of fire in reverse. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Are they wizards or not? They're both stalkers. They both live far from you. That's what I'm getting with these cards clearly. They live far away from you. And they're watching you, possibly online if they live far away from you. So somebody has two stalkers, two males who are stalking them and they're fighting each other spiritually. Who's going to come forward here? They're holding on. So these people, you could be pulled energetically by both of these men. You might not feel so great, to be honest, at this time. If you have two men who are doing spell work and pulling on you energetically. You might even be feeling sick. So, should you reject both of these men? <laughs> In Kanyamba. You might be feeling angry or agitated emotionally. These people are stirring up your emotions. You're all over the place, possibly. These men could both be angry men. The magic bag in reverse. I think you need to end it with both of these men, but you might not even know who these men are or you haven't dealt with them in a very long time. Mishipeshu and the world. So these men are far away. Somebody could actually be in South America, either you or one of these men could be there or something like that. Uh, but yeah, there's a very great distance between you and both of them. So even they could be at the distance from each other. So. Oh boy, um, the moon, the earth and the moon. They're as far as the earth and the moon. <laughs> so very far away. It could be that the three of you are in three different continents or something like that. Okay. Should you reject them though? Yes or no? Should you reject them both? The gargoyle, 25. 
Okay, let's ask about one. Let's ask individually. Although the gargoyle came on top of this one, it's also with wings, so maybe you need to reject this one. I'm not sure. Let's see. Should you reject Stone Fist or Sirius from the Sky? <laughs> Should you reject Stone Fist? Yes or no? I would reject both of them, to be honest, but whatever. The Empress B. This one's married. Also, they might see you as the Empress B. They want to make you their Empress. But should you reject Stone Fist? Yes or no? You know what? Let me get the other deck. This one. Yes or no? Should you reject Stone Fist? <laughs> should you reject Stone Fist? Yes or no, please? Clear yes or no answer. Ten of Swords. <laughs> Ten of Swords reversed. Oh God. It's not over yet. That's what Ten of Swords reversed means. Or did I put the deck upside down? No, 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 excuse me, I put the deck upside down, so that's a yes, ended. He's trying to trick me here. No, Ten of Swords ended. This person's hurt you a lot before. It's it's over. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. <laughs> yeah, because it came out in reverse, King of Cups. Scorpio energy, King of Cups is Scorpio. Ten of Swords is an ending, so I think you're supposed to end it, even though King of Cups implies that this person loves you. But it's up to you with the two of wands crap <laughs> Should you reject stone faced yes or no? Yes. Oh my god. That's a, such a clear. Yes That's my clearest. Yes ever Scorpio energy is an ending right? Scorpio is death and the tower Ten of swords ending you have to end it with this person do not take them back. Don't take them back How about this guy? How about serious from the sky? Should you reject serious from the sky four of wands? Uh-oh. This could be your twin flame, actually. This guy could be your twin flame, or this guy has serious intentions to marry you. Queen of Cups. Uh-oh. Six. Oh my god. Look. There's something about the number 26. You might be born on the 26th. Because look, 26, 26. So, uh, something about that number is very significant for somebody. This person really loves you. Oh my god. So, okay, so choose this guy. Let's clarify. So this could be a past person. This could be the person who wants to, to build the house or move in with you or whatever. I think that's the guy. And this is another guy. This is your real twin flame. Maybe you thought this was your twin flame. They're not. It's this one. So what's the sign? What's the sign? What's the sun sign of this stone face guy? Could be an Aries or an Aquarius with the full because it came out immediately. How about this guy? How about Sirius from the sky? What's his sign? What's his sign? Could be a Scorpio, Virgo, uh, Pisces, Sag uh, too many cards here. What's this guy's sign? What's the sun sign? So it could depend. But this one, this one came in Eight of Swords, could be an air sign. Yeah, it has wings, right? So it could be an air sign. What air sign is Eight of Swords? I forgot. Is this Aquarius? Could be. Ten of Cups is Pisces. So there you go. You find out what the Eight of Swords is. It's an air sign anyway. So this one is probably a fire sign. Could be an Aries. Could also be an Aquarius. This one's an, an air sign. So do you know this person? Do you know this guy? Three of Wands. Maybe you're manifest. This could be the person you're manifesting. This could be somebody you're manifesting right now. So I don't think you know this person. But you, I think you know this one. Yeah. It's a new love, Ace of Cups. You're manifesting a new love. And this new love is possibly already in your energy. And they're already fighting for you. So this is somebody who's fighting for you against this guy. So there you go. Whew. You're not together. You haven't dealt with this person. I, yeah, this is somebody new. So your twin flame is somebody new. You you haven't met this person yet. So that's that's always a good thing to hear. <laughs> there you go. Bye.